before you pack your bags for summer vacation, you might want to check out and see if you have any bagworms on your landscape. And joining us is Dr. Eric Rebeck, OSU's Extension Entomologist. And Dr. Rebeck, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about the life cycle of the bagworm? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so these are caterpillar pests, the adult stages of moth. Mm -hmm. um, and right now at this time of year, we are still experiencing uh, the bagworms themselves, um, the old previous uh, generation. Uh, that is what was produced last year. And right now, we have upwards of 50 or more uh, eggs that are laid in each, in each bag. And those are going to hatch uh, usually around Memorial Day uh, okay. in Oklahoma. And so that's the, good, that's the best time to start looking for them. And they're going to be basically miniature versions. Uh, those caterpillars are going to be feeding on the foliage. And as they're going and growing, they're going to be adding more and more material to their bags and constructing their own at that point. And so you might actually see a little moving Yeah, they'll be moving, they'll be moving right around the plant, okay. absolutely. Okay. Um, so they'll spend the season, it's one generation per year, they'll spend the season feeding and, and growing like that continuously uh, till the end of the year. Um, the, the males, uh, so they'll be about this size at, towards the end of the, the season. The males in their bags will emerge. Um, you'll actually see little pupil skins kind of hanging out the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, these brown fuzzy moths with clear wings will be flying about, finding the females inside of their bags, and they'll mate with those. Females are wingless, and they retain that caterpillar state, okay. um, even as adult uh, as adult moths. So they're attached to the tree, and they're, they're not going anywhere. Attached to the tree, anywhere. and they're not going anywhere. Okay. That's right. And then she will eventually lay her fertilized eggs inside of that bag, and then die. And then that continues on again into the next season. Um, in that uh, in that in that caterpillar bag. So sometimes you find these on your trees and they're they're empty or they already have a hole in them. Those would be the males, and there's yeah. nothing you can do about that. that that's right. Or you might even have old bags from previous years that are still on the tree as okay. well. Okay. Okay. So, so we want to get them now. Yeah. And, and in fact, during the winter time, um, anywhere from you know after egg laying has ensued, the females are dead inside that bag. Those eggs are viable inside of there. We can uh, go out on a warm winter day. Um, you know, all the way through into the spring and just pluck them off the tree. But the key is you don't want to just throw them on the ground because those eggs are still going to be uh, viable inside. So you want to destroy them somehow. Throw them in your chimney uh, and, and set them on fire or a bonfire or okay. uh, put them in with your, your yard waste and get move them off site somehow. Okay, okay. So when they hatch out as mm -hmm. little caterpillars, what can we do to protect our plants yeah, at that point? That's a good question. Um, that's actually the best time to manage your caterpillar pests. Um, we can use more reduced risk compounds like uh, Bt uh, as well as uh, products that contain spinosad. Um, and these uh, Bt in particular only affects caterpillar pests, so you don't have to worry about having um, adverse effects on non-targets. Um, so it's safe for us to use even and, and not have to worry about. And we want to spray the whole tree? The whole tree, I thorough coverage, and then you allow, um, they're going to have to consume that material. Okay. Um, so you have to tolerate a little bit more feeding damage at that point, but uh, they will uh, take that in um, to their guts. It kind of uh, causes septicemia. It's a gut poison, a stomach poison, mm -hmm. uh, and it and they die as a result of that. Okay, because you're not trying to spray the bag. The bag is kind of uh, sealed up. Yeah, right? it's, so it's rather impenetrable, watertight. So spraying the bag right now is not going to do any good. And in fact, with again at this time of year, before the caterpillars are out, this is a good time to just pluck that off okay. and, and destroy so it. So mechanically remove remove it, or yep. go ahead and spray your tree when you start to see some of those little caterpillars yep. coming out. Absolutely. So, and how big are those little? I mean, would we... Oh, they're just tiny. Okay. I mean, maybe the, the size of your pinky nail okay. when they first start kind of walking around. So you'll you'll be able to see them. They're just, okay. you know, they're not microscopic, but you'll you'll notice them. And it's also important to keep in mind they, they will feed on about 125 different species of plants, uh, but they really highly prefer those juniperus type plants. So junipers, arborvitaes, red cedar, they just absolutely love them. And so if you have any of those in your landscape, it's really a... Uh, uh, or near. <laughs> or, or near. Yeah, it's good to be, uh, be watching for them. And, and watching for their development on those plants. Okay, and one last thing, because I think a lot of times people confuse bagworms with webworms. Yes, yeah. Uh, yep, it, th so there is a difference. Yeah. Um, it's another, uh, webworms are, are another caterpillar pest um, that feed primarily, we're going to see them on pecans um, and persimmons in Oklahoma, um, so not so much on an arborvitae or a juniper. Um, and they tend to make these big web uh, Tent tents, yeah. essentially. They're not tent caterpillars, but they're, they're webworms, and they're out on the terminal ends of the branches. Um, and you'll, feed, you'll see them feeding um, 
usually about midsummer into the fall, hence fall webworm, is when you're going to see them on, on more of those deciduous type plants like pecans. Um, bagworms, no, no, no webbing. It's just these uh, constructed, tightly constructed bags that they're residing within. All right. Thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.